So hello everyone and welcome back to the another great day of our beauty this week. So if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn, maintain and grow our week together. Let us read what the today's question is about. The name of the question is minimum number. Again, it's an easy category question, but um, after solving the question, I have multiple things to share about the same, this problem and the GFG, right? So please stay tuned for the last thing as well. So we are given an array of n elements in one operation. So you can pick two any two indices as that array of i should be greater than equals to array of g and replace the value of with the differences on the array of i right you have to minimize the values of the array by performing any such number of operations let us see what they have shown in the dry run and then we will think of our approach so they are saying that the fourth is largest number and three so four minus three gives us two right so they have done it this way they, they have picked the element four and three and now they have converted four minus three equals to one then then they have taken the third this three and then this two right and they have converted the larger number replace the larger number with the differences so it would be again one then again two and one is picked right and two and one is picked and then again two minus one will give you one so one is here then again you can pick any two such numbers right so let's let's pick these two numbers and one minus one it would be zero right so replace it with the differences again you can pick one and this zero right or you can pick this one and this one right and you have to replace it with the difference so it would be zero again so clearly you can see that the last array you can form is one zero zero or you can form zero zero one or one zero uh, or you can say one zero zero right depending on which uh, because uh, there were three duplicate elements so depending on which two integers you are taking in a sequence your array will look like this right that's how that is why the different the uh, the array here in the dryer and it's forming by the question is 001 and mine got as 100 right but that's not the entire thing to discuss the discussion is that what's the lowest number that you have been formed so it is one right there's no operation left can be performed so the maximum number the left in the array is one that's the reason okay so it needs to be done that <clears throat> um, whenever we see a diagram we start the diagram right but let's skip this diagram that how this is going on and let us visualize some things regarding the numbers and then we can see it. so let's say i am giving you a number let's say four and eight and i'm doing asking you to do this this such operation right so what you will do you will do eight minus four and you will replace it with four and four then again you will do four minus and you replace it with four and zero right and now the maximum number available in this array is four and that would be your answer correct <clears throat> okay there is some do some more dry run and then we will try to re reduce some logic there so let's take the example of six and eight here 8 minus 6 will give you as 2 and this will remain as 6. 6 minus 2 will give you as 4 and this will remain as 2. Then again, 4 minus 2 will give you as 2, comma 2. Then again, integers picking 2 and 2. So it will be 2 minus 2, it would be 0. And let's say this is 2, right? Now you cannot do anything, right? So the maximum number remained is 2, right? Let's take one uh, one more example and then we'll then I will try to reduce the logic to you guys. Okay, so 9 and 11. So what we can do is 9 minus 11 minus 9 that will give you 2. This will remain as 9. 9 minus 2 will give you as 7 and 2. 7 minus 2 will give you 5 comma 2. Then again 3 comma 2. Then again 1 comma 2. And then you can uh, pick this number 2 and 1. And your array will look like 1 comma 1. Then again you can pick this one and replace with the difference that is 0 and 1. And your maximum number will be 1. Right. So what I am saying is that whenever you are picking, let's say uh, we are talking in context of two numbers. Right. So whenever you are picking a bunch of numbers, then performing this such operation is making ensure that the last you are getting is nothing but the GCD. Right. You are getting the GCD as your answer. And it is, uh, let us verify, is it? And then you will think, come to the intuition that why it is the common factor that is we are getting an answer. 6 and 8, you can clearly see that GCD is 2. You are getting the 2 as answer. For 9 11, the GCD is 1. You are getting 1 as answer. Now, if you think, agar ap socho yaar, ki hum kise minus kar rahe the, like we were doing 8 minus 4. Right, or inka jo common factor is 2 hai, right? So eventually, ek aisa time aayega. There would be one time ki hum isi division pe wapas a jayenge, right? I don't know. Okay. So if the two numbers have the GCD present there in their array, then directly that would be the answer, right? And if not, if the, if the numbers do not have a GCD present. In the array, like for six comma eight, you can clearly say that two is the GCD, right? So you can see that after after performing such steps, that you will get two comma two, 
it will eventually come back down to its divisible right to its factors hai na kyunki dono ek even number the aur dono ek aise number the jisko hum 2 se divide kar sakte the to agar if you keep on subtracting it then there would be one time that you will be coming at its factor right okay and that would be your answer uh maybe you can try to do some more dry runs on uh, to visualize that why it's the gcd answer but on my end i uh, i think i have given you the most appropriate answer it's just the division of the numbers right and if the division and if the two numbers has a gcd has a common factor then there would be one time ki wo division jo hai wo factor ke equal kahin na kahin ho jayega right ठीक है सिमिलरली फॉर नाइन एंड इलेवन देर इज नो कॉमन डिवाइजर इफ यू कीप ऑन स्टॉप ट्रैकिंग इट यू विल इंशली गेट बैक टू इट्स वन एंड वन इज नथिंग बट द डिवाइजर अगेन द लॉजिक रिमेन सेम यू कैन टेक एनी टू सच नंबर यू कैन लेट्स लाइक सेवन राइट एंड टेक अ नंबर विच इज नॉट डिविजल बाय सेवन और विच इज नॉट द फैक्टर ऑफ सेवन इज वन कॉमर सेवन राइट टेक अ नंबर विच शू डू नॉट हैव फैक्टर एज दिस वन कॉमर सेवन सो लेट्स टेक एज नाइन सो इट वुड बी अगेन सेवन कॉमर टू राइट and then you can see solving the 7,2 will give you the one as answer right it will be some iterations and it will give you the answer right so our entire question has been changed to for to find the gcd of the overall given numbers right you can clearly see 4 3 2 and 4 the gcd is one and that is your answer for the second test case you can also verify that the gcd for 2,4 the gcd is one and that is your answer right and what is the optimized way to uh, form the gcd you have an euclidean euclid optimized form Euclid optimized algorithm, and this is the thing also I've explained multiple times in my pure registry, right? So if you have left to find is to find GCD of a comma b, then the pseudo code here is that if b equals equals to zero, you need to return a, and then else you will return t b comma a percent b. Let us verify that as well. Let us find the GCD of ten comma fifty because we should not blindly trust any algorithm. Okay. So what will happen? That 15 will be copied here, and 10 percent 15 will be returned. So it will be nothing but 10. And again, 10 will be copied here. 15 percent 10 will give you 5. 5 will be copied here. 10 percent 5 will give you 0. So we have the base case. Whenever the b is coming to 0, you need to return it, right? Right. So that's the optimized algorithm. What? Why optimize? Because earlier, uh, before optimizing it, we are using the division operator to check it. Okay. You can research more on this algorithm, but that's not the key, right? Okay. So and this this thing gives you the time complexity of log of minimum of a comma b because you are reducing the minimum integer, uh, uh minimum integer by the modulo operator, right? So if you are uh, decrementing, incrementing by division or let's say modulo operator or plus minus some x variable, not equals to one, then you have the time complexity of log, right? That's what's happening here. Okay. So let us write this code. Please pause this video here and try to code it yourself. So great, the expected and our output has matched successfully. You can test for any such input test cases if you want to. But yeah, what would be the time complexity? The for loop has here, and then this GCD takes the log of minimum a comma. So overall time complexity will be n log minimum of this answer comma the array elements, right? So it, if you put on the constraints, it will definitely give you the ten less than ten per eight logic, right? And let's hit the submit button now. Okay. Also, I have been seeing, I have been observing that from three days they are giving an expected time complexity. I guess wrong, right? Mm. Because uh, I am saying this because uh, you can you can clearly see that the one more thing that I haven't shared with you guys is that uh, whenever we solve a question, it's a very good practice. Either you solve it on GFG or lead code. So the question is done here now. I'm repeating again. So that's the additional information I was talking about in the beginning of my video. That you must always see the tutorial after you solve the question if you're not able to write, or else you should try for at least. It's an easy question. You should try for maybe if you're a beginner, you should try for half an hour, half an hour to forty-five minutes. If you're a medium, go for two hours. If it's a hard, go for three hours. If you're a beginner, right? But yes, if you have solved any SD sheet available in the market, then your time goes to for for easy. You must not give more than twenty-five to thirty minutes for medium. Maximum forty-five minutes, and for hard, it's one hour, one hour, fifteen minutes, right? I'm just talking about the DSA perspective, not the CP. And this question is again a computer programming question. I have solved it way ahead in my times and while my college placements, right? Okay, yeah. so I was talking that uh, let us go to the tutorial now because solving the question, you should must be aware of all the approaches here. So the first approach is the same that we had, and 
because I'm saying again, it's a CP question. So I've already solved it. And again, they have given the expected as n. So it is not n, it is n log minimum of answer comma i comma b. So they have been doing this wrong. So, so the the ultimate thing that I wanted to discuss with that they have the second approach as well. I read this approach. So you also read it. So they are saying that use a for loop to find the minimum in the array. And then if checked that if that minimum element is not divisible by any such elements, then you directly return minus one or else you return mn, right? So I tried writing this dry case. When I, uh, as soon as I read this uh, uh, approach, I thought, no, 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 this is wrong. And in GCD, mein, what were the, uh, our, let's say, ek approach, hota hai, right? So all approaches are si se related. Hota hai. Either they have been optimized, but logic is the same. But whenever you start from boot better optimal, you will see that the better and optimal approaches have its linkage to the brute force, right? So GCD, mein kya kar rahe Yaar, ki we were reducing down whenever wo operations were the minus wale. So it was definitely making sure that if you are subtracting, keep on subtracting A and B, which is large, then definitely you will shrink up to a to a number which is nothing but the factor of A comma B, right? This was our logic. And now what they are saying is that let's say you have a number four and six. And they are saying to find the minimum. So let's say I find the minimum, and now they are saying that if this minimum is not divisible by any such integer, you return minus one, right? So four is divisible by four, but six is not divisible by four, right? So they are saying that to return minus one. But clearly, we saw that the answer for four comma six is not one; it is two, right? That's what I was saying, man. If you like, just copy this solution, right? Because GFG, I don't know, yeah, GFG, is why they are doing it. They are very like that. Are you? Like, I'm crazy, man. What are you talking about? The questions are not clear within the day. They are updating the solutions, the test cases, right? I'm going to show you. I have taken this uh, thing, right? And if you pass this on, if you pass this here. Test cases, let's say, follow the test cases 4 and 6, right? And let us compile and run. And let's see what the output it gives. So it clearly says that my output is one and expected output is two, right? And yes, the expected output is actually they're saying it's right, but according to this code, it's returning one. And if you hit the submit button here, right? Let me hit the submit button as well for you. So it will get submitted, but that is wrong, right? On what hangover this question has been said, you can see, but that is wrong, guys. That is clearly a blunder from the GFG side, right? So that is not a good solution, and people may be using uh, the solution. Because let's say if I was also a beginner, I would not not able to solve. Let's say, and I would have clearly gone to the very tool, and that's in my habit. Either I solve it or not solve it. I always have to look up to the multiple approaches available, right? So that's the way you learn the multiple approach, right? <clears throat> so you can see, yeah, this is a very blunder, right? A complete blunder. Here. So here is an option, hota hai, yaar, to report bugs. So I request all of you, whoever which are watching the video, please click on this solution, report an issue, whatever I said, maybe. If we report it in a mass manner, like, bahut, bahut log karenge, to like, like they would appoint someone good <laughs> who said this beauty education. And that is the reason, like, uh, I think after day 200, I will discontinue this beauty day series and will work on uploading my DSA series only, right? But time to be a good right? Because, and also nowadays they are uh, giving purely CP questions on our beauty day series, and that's not our goal, right? We have placement mein job lane hai. Right, that's our entire goal. Kitna bhi padlo, jab mani nahi mile, akri mein to kya fayda, right? So, our entire goal is to crack the placement, right? And they crack the interviews. And they never ask CP questions. As of now, abhi tak to nahi poochha hao na. Take a standard DSA questions hi poochte hai, achche achche. So, standard DSA, jab questions khatam ho jate, then they ask the development. The only required things are DSA. First and foremost thing, the DSA, and then the development. I'm saying development in second stage. It does not mean that it is, it is not required. It is required, guys, right? DSA and development, no. Nothing of CP is required. If you have a passion, if you have uh, CP, karna hai, bas man hai to karlo, hai. but placement ke few points are necessary. Nahi hai, hai? Kisi ko bhi sun lo, kisi bhi senior ko bhi sun lo, they will say the same because it's right. They have felt it. So, hai. that's the wrong solution, right? I'm again emphasizing on it. So, our Java solution, which I said to you for the GCD thing, that's the right one, right? Okay, and the last thing that how to convert this into C, just remove this public static. Right, uh, just remove this public static and copy the same code in C. It will work for you guys. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye, and take care. Meet you in the tomorrow street. And take care, take care. Bye. One more thing that people ask where's the code in the comment section? So, 
मैं अपने सारे वीडियो में एक डी एस ए रिपोजिटरी की लिंक मैंशन रहती है आप वहाँ पे कंट्रोल एफ करो सारे क्वेश्चन के सोल्यूशन वहीं सबमिट होते हैं नंबर क्वेश्चन को सर्च करें एंड लगे सोल्यूशन चलो बाय आप बाय बाय